So I just got notified by Amazon that my book has been delivered to the mailbox. I'm so excited. I am a Dahami warrior. It's in my mailbox. My personal copy, uh, my first personal copy of it is in the mailbox. So I'm going to go out there, grab it, and uh, do an unboxing for you. Okay, here we go. So I'm at my mailbox. It's in there. Oh my God. Okay, I'm back and I have it. Okay. So, I'm so excited. This is the um, first book that I've ever had published myself. I've been in anthologies before, but I've never had my, my own published work. Um, a lot went into this. <clears throat> um, you know, I write it. I think of myself as an everyday poet and author because I write about everything from love, loss, um, motivation, uh, political issues, uh, social issues, everything. Um, growing old, being young, the whole nine yards. But a friend of mine, uh, Bryant Reynolds, asked me to write about something uh, pre-slavery. So that's where the idea was planted for this book. But I really didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do until I talked to my daughter, uh, Leah um, McCormick, who had just gotten back a DNA ancestry test. And it showed that either from me or her dad's side, she has uh, some bloodline from Togo, Benin, and Nigeria. And uh, so she was showing me those results and we were talking about it and then I was telling her how I uh, was trying to uh, write something um, you know that I hadn't written before and really couldn't think of a subject. And she asked me if I had ever heard of the Dahomey Warriors. And you know I knew something about the Black Panther movie but not really uh, anything about these particular warriors so she told me what she had read she's you know always <laughs> into the books you know and she told me I should look it up and do some research so I did and what I found just blew my mind and I said I, it's definitely a story here so um, after much research you know I they started out as poems, as poems, and um, yeah, you know, one poem, and then two poems, and then three poems, and then four poems, and then I, you know, put them together, and then kind of strayed away from the poetry into uh, prose, and it was just a long journey. And so now we have a short story based on the Dahomey Warriors and this young girl's trial of going from growing uh, up in uh, in Africa um, and her trials and tribulations uh, as she turns into this brilliant warrior uh, as part of this warrior clan. So in any event, let me get to opening up the book or the package. Just as beautiful <sighs> this woman is beautiful 
what she represents is beautiful. Um, what she represents to me is beautiful. I figured I was going to tear up, but I didn't know <clears throat> that I would actually feel this, this much emotion. This is the back. Um, my friend Teresa Jenkins did the picture for me on the back. As you can see. I think it's a pretty good picture myself. But, um, you know, it is, it is thin, but it is a short story. Um, but there is so much packed into these pages. It is a page turner and you will not be disappointed. There's even artwork, illustration uh, within the pages as well. Um, I am a Dahami warrior. Can be yours. <laughs> it's already mine. 